It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and a big event is happening this Friday for all cancer survivors. Thousands of people will take to the streets in Orange County for the American Cancer Society's first Every Cancer, Every Life event. We're joined live in studio by Steve Bell, a global... Yeah, hey, Jamie, good morning. You know, so this law looks at having oil and gas companies keep a reserve of fuel on hand. The idea is that would help to prevent price spikes here at the gas pump when there are supply issues. Drivers say anytime they see those prices jump, the problem with that is they go up for sometimes weeks at a time without any relief. The prices the very next day are, are up. Uh, at a high rate, but for them to come back down, it takes forever. Yeah, and drivers kind of are stuck in the middle of all this, you think? Well, drivers, you know, and, and obviously uh, fuel prices affect pricing on everything, materials, foods. Yeah, so drivers are feeling caught in the middle of opposing opinions as well on how to manage the issue. Governor Gavin Newsom says this new law will keep prices from spiking since refiners will have reserves on hand if production halts for maintenance or other issues. Newsom called lawmakers back for a special session to get this bill passed. A spokesperson for the gas and oil industry is blasting the new law, saying there is a constrained gasoline market here and every refinery is running at capacity already. The governor did not hold back in voicing his feelings on big oil when he signed this bill into law. They are the polluted heart of this climate crisis. They continue to lie and they continue to manipulate. Calling hard work working men and women of this industry Polluted hearts is really just beneath the leadership of California um, of California decision makers. The California GOP also responded by saying that the law will only cause prices to increase, but the statement they issued did not say how they expect that will happen. The governor was asked directly by a reporter if gas prices could still go up. He responded by saying that he doesn't want to overpromise drivers, but that this is a tool to hopefully prevent that. Drivers I talked with this morning say they don't really care how it happens. They just want to see prices be level and fair. Reporting live in Corona, Rick Montanez, KCAL News.